computer. Okay. And I'll, oh, okay. I'll edit it out, but. Okay. So <laughs> if either one of us say something crazy, I can <laughs> edit it. <laughs> okay. So just to start with, I'll just let you kind of introduce yourself and okay. tell me kind of your weight loss issues or journey. Like when did okay. it start being a problem? Um, my name is Aisha. I am uh, 38. Well, no, I'm sorry, 39. I'm 39. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. And so um my weight loss has been kind of consistent, like um until I begin to get older. Mm -hmm. Um I've always done for the past four years, I've done keto. Mm -hmm. And that has helped me maintain my weight. And I um incorporated intermittent fasting at times mm -hmm. to uh, jump start things mm -hmm. um so I have done pretty good with my weight until I got um older as I got older it just seems like it was just very very hard to control mm -hmm. um I had my last baby um like two years ago in 2022 mm -hmm. and that's been a trouble yes and I think it was just so hard to because I've my um my other child I just jumped right back I didn't mm -hmm. gain any thing hardly, but right. this last one, it was very, very hard. I think also because of my age. Mm -hmm. um, How old were you when you had your other child? When it was, I eight. was thirty-seven. No, your other one. I, oh, I just had her like um, thirty-seven. Oh, the one before she was yeah. six, she's sixteen now. So that was okay, two thousand six. So, yeah, so you're a lot younger. Yeah, yeah, definitely. yeah. 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 It definitely seem the older we get, the harder. Things yeah. that used to work no longer work and everything. Okay. All right. Um, so what do you think's kind of been your biggest challenge to lose weight? Biggest challenge is the cravings. Um, dealing with the cravings now. And then once you deal with you, once you do not have control of your cravings, you seem to like get discouraged mm -hmm. because I've always been the type that said, like, if I can continue to do something for a whole month, consistency, right. I can get a habit of it. Mm -hmm. But it has been so hard for me to stick with it for a whole month. And mm -hmm. I just began right. to get discouraged. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I have I know for me, like, if I, I occasionally I would just put my head down and do I'm going to do this and I would do it for a month. And then at the end of the month, I would be down one pound. Yeah. And, you know, if I had lost a few pounds, worked that hard, I would have been like, oh, okay, I, I, I can do this. You know, yes. it's working, I can do it. But when you yeah. do work that hard and you do put your head down and you get through it and then you don't lose anything, you're like, well, screw it. You know? Yeah, it's very discouraging. <laughs> and then yeah. also, um, I suffer kind of with the, um, uh, they, I think they call it like um, endometriosis where if I've just put on like extra weight for, I don't know. And so it was just, it just has been very hard for me. Was it maybe PCOS? Yes, that's what yes. it is. Okay. Yes, yeah. So that often is. coincides with, with weight issues because it's all boils down to your insulin levels, which is what the main problem is with the PCOS. And then it's like nothing seems to work. So yes, yes. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. So, so far, how much, when did you start with the injections? Um, it hasn't been very long. Did you start um, with me? Was that, was it with me first? Yes. Okay. Yes. Let's see. I'll um, look. the first two months I want to say with you. Mm -hmm. And then this last month, I just uh -huh. changed. Mm -hmm. I don't know how many months though. I forgot. We started. Time goes by so fast. In May. <laughs> So your first supplement was May 24th. Okay. So since then, how many pounds have you lost since May? I When I started, I was 288, 89. And right now I am uh, 250. I just weighed myself like yesterday. It was like 256, mm -hmm. 57, kind of back and forth. Yeah. So 30-ish pounds. Mm -hmm. Great. Great. Good. Good deal. That's awesome. Um, yeah. Cause I don't like people to lose it too fast. So it's a, you know, nice steady progression. Um, would you say since you've lost this weight, it's impacted your, your confidence in yourself? 
I am um, even um, now I bought some more um, exercise equipment. Mm -hmm. um, actually, that's why I got my hair pulled back and stuff, because usually when I um, get done from working from home, I usually go on, go in there and do me a couple of while I'm, I'm already moving. So, yeah. yes, I have more energy. Mm -hmm. I have way more energy. And I just put that into uh, doing some type of activity. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. Awesome. That's great. Um, now what kind of motivated you to take, to be like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to do these shots or I'm going to at least look into it. What kind of motivated you to, to do that? I actually was seeing on social media, I want to say, um, TikTok where people were just, um, documenting their journeys mm -hmm. and how a lot of the women were so, um, happy because it was like, this really works for me. Mm -hmm. And then it was also a lot of physicians giving their intake on it. And they were saying that they thought it was a great thing. Mm -hmm. um, even some doctors didn't even really just really, I guess, prescribe it per se for weight loss. Mm -hmm. But they still was given the recommendations that they think it's a great thing. Um, they would advise people to do it and things of that nature. So I was thinking like, OK, well, I need to find someone local mm -hmm. um, and go from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good. So seeing other people's story, basically, yes. you yes. know, you'll inspire some other people too. Mm -hmm. um, now, did you have any hesitations about taking the weight loss? I know usually people are concerned about side effects or they've heard horror stories from anyone. Did you have any like concerns about it or were you kind of like, I'm good? <laughs> um. Well, no, I didn't. Um. I did not hear horror stories. I didn't have any reserves actually at all besides like giving a shot myself. I've never given myself a shot, but um, you get over that because the needle is so small. Like you get over that, like within the first month. So, right. It's no big deal. Is it? Yeah. You know, it's not. Yeah. Yeah. That, that is a common concern for people. And like, I don't yeah. do it, but then like, oh yeah, it was, it was easier than I thought it was. I think I watched your video on how to do it. Like four times like I just kept <laughs> rewinding it and yeah rewinding like, okay it. yeah <laughs> but yeah. I I got it I got it down packed um like the first time my teenage daughter she did it because she's going to be an RN oh, and good. she graduated she high school on mom yeah 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 <laughs> so she just she just gave me one actually um they got a program in, well Kentucky is great because um she's already she's going to be a certified medical assistant when she graduates high school that's awesome she'll be able to get yeah, a job it is. and i yes. know from experience working in the hospital or wherever while you're going to school you she'll do better because she'll be able to put it together remember yes so i was really happy about that and she was all excited about the shots and she kind of motivated me to um to do it and it was just very easy so no i didn't have any reserves okay good good um now let's see now um I know you do have access to professional support. We do regular check-ins. Is there yes. anything about that that's particularly helpful that you find about having a check-in? I do that? because the first month I was having like a little side effects and I even told um, a couple of people that I uh, work with, I was just like, um, you know, working with you guys, it has been so helpful because you are like right on point, like, I can text you like, hey, I think this is related to you. It's like, um, you'll give me your input and you'll check on me and mm -hmm. you'll say, is it better? Are you doing good? Yeah, so I remember that I at the beginning. all that. Mm -hmm. You are so interactive with your patients that I just, I thought that was a wonderful thing. Okay, good. Great. Good. Um, I think it's helpful. I know some patients are like, they don't want to go too long between, like maybe they could go longer per, they've got enough medicine to last longer, but they're like, I'd rather do this check in because it helps me kind of stay on track because they know I'm going to be saying now how you doing on your protein yeah all those things so yeah okay. and I like your newsletters I always like look okay. at them and read them they're very inspiring I love like it so okay. I love it great mm -hmm. I appreciate that um now how long did it take before you you got your dose up enough that you started to see some results on the scale um, the first month I saw, um, like, I think I lost like six, seven pounds, maybe six. I think it was six. Mm -hmm. The second month, um, I think when you moved me to the next level, I can't remember how much was that. Mm -hmm. I think right there, I saw a lot of, um, weight loss, right. but uh -huh. then, um, it's kind of started plateauing. Like that's normal. Yeah. 
Yeah. And so this last time she gave me the other dose and that has been great. Okay, good. Yeah. And it's normal to hit. I try to tell people from the get go, like you're going to get reached some plateaus. You're doing everything right. And just keep trugging on and your body's just readjusting to a new. Yes. To yes. And with you adding some activity in, that's another reason I have people measure and do mm-hmm. pictures because sometimes this number on the scale doesn't move, but you're getting smaller because muscle weighs more than fat. So, you know, as you're gaining muscle, the scale may not be your best indicator of, you know. That's true. And actually, um, which I'll probably send to if you want to use them, um, but I did take a before, like the night before I got my first shot. Huh? Awesome. And I did do an update last night, so I can send them to you if you want yes, to. We can. I do. I do want to see those people. Yeah. People like to see a real person, mm-hmm. so they can trust it. Like all of yes. us, yeah, look at reviews before we do anything. So, you're and even my daughter was at first. Um, the first mom said, "Can you tell us some way?" She was like, "No." Right. But then as time went on, she was like, oh, yeah, I see it now, mom. Yeah, Yeah, it's kind of delayed before other people. I think we can see it before. Yeah. It's kind of like a delayed reaction. People like, have you lost weight? Like, yeah, a while ago. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. uh Yeah. Uh-huh. I've lost 30 pounds. Thank you. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Um, Let's see. Now, have you stopped any bad habits or started any positive habits? since you've started on this it sounds like the exercise maybe is something new you started yeah um exercising getting back into that whole routine it was very hard um so that's the really only thing I've always I I have always since keto cut off like sugar so I've always like once you stop eating sugar sugar don't taste the same anymore right yeah It just don't. So I've always been like very conscious about the sugar ever since keto, but the exercising is what I was missing. Mm -hmm. And so that's been very helpful. That's good. Great. Any Mm -hmm. other things that you've changed that you can think of? Um, I would say, oh yeah, I actually stopped eating at a certain time. That Mm -hmm. actually has helped. It was very hard for me to stop eating, um, snacking. Yes. Snacking in between times. Um, so I don't snack anymore. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just stay full longer. I just stay full way longer. So I just think that was great. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. Now you said you had a little side effects at first. What kind of mm-hmm. what side effects did you experience or have you? Nausea. Nausea. Okay. Very bad nausea. I was very, very bad nausea. Mm-hmm. Um, I was working and I would just, I would literally gag and I was just like, okay. I remember you like giving me that warning about that, that it'll probably happen. So when I start um, getting nauseated, I immediately, you know, reached out to you and he was like, I'll send you in something. Mm -hmm. Um, But you know, actually that goes away. Yeah. It usually does for most people. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody has it, but a lot of people at the beginning, especially as your body's kind of adjusting to it. And then usually the vast majority, it goes away. And rarely does anyone even need Zofran or something for the nausea, but occasionally it does happen. And and so like for you, we'll just call something in. Yeah. Uh, so was that pretty tolerable with the Zofran? Yes, that was very tolerable. That actually helped me out a lot. Um, And well, it's like the first two days that you, you feel nauseated those two days. And after that, you don't feel it. I mean, you don't, you don't have that side effect anymore. And that, that lasted, I say, about a month and a half mm-hmm. for me, and then I don't, mm-hmm. I don't it feel anything anymore. Get better each week, or are you having less of it each week? Yes, okay. I was having okay. less of it each week. It yes. Right. Okay. Good. Yep. Yeah. Um. Good. Um. Now let's see. Is there been any other like non-scale victories that you've seen so far, like in your health or? anything that you can no it's actually all positive uh-huh. I can't even think of nothing like negative no it's I mean nothing. has there been any other non-scale like sometimes people will be like my blood pressure is better I got off my blood pressure medicine or my cholesterol um, I had my cholesterol checked and it was better or anything that I didn't even have those issues so I don't really know right. um so I, I I wouldn't be able to say that part um it's just the fact well I I do have um 
pins in my knee and my knees well my hips and it was so hard on my knees mm -hmm. and I don't have the pain anymore sometimes I used to have to take um a pain medicine mm -hmm. um depending on how bad I was hurting mm -hmm. um but I don't I don't have to take anything anymore that's um because I've come down yeah that's a great mm -hmm. On scale. And these medicines, in addition to the weight loss, it doesn't take a lot of weight to re drastically reduce the pressure on, especially a knee joint. So in addition to the weight loss, these medicines are also very anti-inflammatory. So a lot of times people have significantly less joint pain that they might've had before, even separate, like maybe they didn't lose any weight, but their joint pain's better. Um, so that's, that's a great non-scale. Yeah, that it was, I, I feel, I feel so much better because the pins were with the way that was really hurting my, um, my knees, but this is better now, way better. Yeah. And then you can be more active if your knees aren't hurting. Oh yeah. 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 Right. Good deal. Um, cause you got a toddler you're chasing around. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I, and you know what? I um take her outside now. We go outside. I take her to the park now. We we'll go to the park. Yeah. So I'm very active with her. Um, like I said, the shot has been very, very helpful. It has been great. It has been very great. I'm I'm very grateful about it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm so glad. Um, now, so what advice would you give if someone's kind of on the fence? Maybe they've been thinking about this. They're not for sure. Or someone that's just getting started, what would be what advice would you give someone like that? I was I would say to give it a try. Try it for a month. Um, it's very much worth it. Because once you see the month and you see results, the amount of uh, positivity, encouragement that you will get, you will continue um, because it really helps you maintain your goals. It makes your goals realistic. Mm -hmm. um, so I would just tell them to try it. Just give it a try. It's not that hard. And also you have a physician that you can reach out to for any type, anything, mm -hmm. anything. She's always available. So um, I would just tell them to give it a try. It's really, really worth it. Yeah. Do you feel like, I mean, a, a big concern for people is the cost um, and I, everything's expensive these days, but I think for most people, most of my patients end up telling me like, oh, this is way more affordable than I thought it was going to be. You know, it ends up, I tell people like some people, I think it pays them because they were like, I used to go buy Starbucks every day and get a, a drink and a this, and I don't do that anymore. Well, that's more than enough. That's going to pay for your medicine and groceries. Are and the amount of women that goes to, um, that go to, I know so many of my friends and I told them before y'all go get some more lipo, try this. Uh, yeah. They go get liposuction. They go get all these procedures and they, it's still not a lifestyle change. It's still right. not, yeah. you know, and it's cheaper. It's cheaper than paying that amount of money. Almost, honestly, almost every two years, they're trying to go get something done. Yeah. You know, instead of paying a couple of hundred dollars for results, they're paying thousands. Yeah. Yeah. And like Cheaper. you say, you're not really getting to the root of the issue that way. Yep. Yeah. This, obviously your weight is a big part of your health these days, yeah. but there's other health benefits besides that. I mean, you're being yeah. more active which you know, for your heart. And I mean, there's just so many other things besides just the number on the scale and looking better in your clothes and that sort of thing. So, cause you're really getting to the root of the problem, yes. you know, changing, establishing new habits that you can continue so that you're not dependent on this forever. It's true. Uh, but a lot of people like to stay on a maintenance dose and I tell people, you know, you can do that. Um, or you can try to transition off and see how you do either, either one's an option, but all right. That's all my questions. So unless you have anything else you think to add. No, I just say, um, the only thing I can say is just try it. It's very much worth it. Um, just a couple of hundred bucks. Mm -hmm. Really today, it's not really nothing compared to the amount. Oh, of, yeah. and then you don't even have to stay on it long, long time. Yeah. I've lost quite a bit of weight just for in those couple of months. Mm -hmm. I think I'll probably hit my goal in December, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's very much worth it. And even even if you look at the cost, once you start on this, even if you are on 
medicine that you pay out of pocket for, you're going to come off that medicine. You want to cut them yeah. off your blood pressure. You're going to yeah. come off these other things. Mm -hmm. So I think it's just, it's, it, it works. It equals out. Yeah. Yeah. I think so. With the cost of food, even if you are not on medicine, just the cost of food. Yes. And if you could say you, you, we never, we don't have the magic balls. We don't know, but let's say you prevented yourself getting diabetes. Yeah. It's going to save you years on your life and thousands and thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars. So that's true. It's worth that's it. true don't know but most of us are on that track to get diabetes if we continue with the way we're going that's that's the destination that's where we're headed so that's true that's true okay. I agree so I would say just try it and that's all I got to say about that okay. I appreciate it so much and I know mm -hmm. other people are really gonna appreciate hearing your story and then you send me those pictures I will those with a little blog post and okay it all right. All right. I will definitely do that and uh, just get back with you and I'll send you the pictures. Okay. Sounds good. Thank, Thank you. you. Bye. Bye.